Let's talk about Donna too, and my honest thoughts of what I think of the album. Just let you know, I am one of those people who bought one of these. I think try to turn it on. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm one of the people who actually bought one of these rubbery things. But Donda 2 has certainly been something interesting that happened this year. We had one listening party, one album that dropped, and then it all vanished as quickly as it came. Let's go through it song by song and see, if, is there anything worth here that's like salvageable, or I think this album is actually going to come out? Honestly, I don't know if it's going to come out. It seems like a thing that like Kanye West decided to do at one point and then kind of gave up on it, but also it seems partly finished, so I don't know why you would just not finish it. Like all the other Kanye projects that were unreleased besides like Yandi, which was pretty much done, they never we never really heard music from them, or some of them, but I feel like you wouldn't have a whole listening party for an album you planned on never dropping. Maybe he'll change the name on it, but I think we're gonna get it. So the first song here is True Love, which I thought was a great opener. It was definitely nice to hear X's vocal, something I wasn't expecting. But also the verse on here is absolutely great too by Ye, one of the better verses on this album. And I think it's a great opener for the rest. And definitely it kind of feels like you start up here and then we kind of went down as the time goes on. Then after that, we have Broken Road. Broken Road is a song with Don Tolliver. I love Don Tolliver, but this isn't one of his strong... Uh, eh. I love Don Tolliver, but this was isn't one of his stronger features. I think Kanye kind of carries a little bit, and it seems unfinished. I kind of like to see where Kanye was going with this, but definitely a song you could tell was unfinished with a finished Don Tolliver feature. Then we have a song that gets so much unnecessary hate with Get Lost. Yes, I know, a Jay with a vocalizer just saying whatever, but it's just something about that. Something about that vocalizer I just enjoy whenever he does it, especially when he did the Donda listening party with the first hurricane it was just like so cool i think because it's like you can tell like he's in pain and it's just like i don't know it gives me like 808 and heartbreak type of vibe but i get why people hate on it because it's really him just mumbling and i really wish we would get a finished version because he did the same thing for never abandon your family and that song is one of the best songs on donda then after that we have the song too easy which i thought would be easy part two but it's actually kind of just a little interlude i mean it's whatever it's cool, it does its thing, but it's not a song I would go back to, at least in this state. Then we have the song Flowers after that, and I absolutely love this song. I think if he released this song, even in the state it's in, it seems pretty done. I think it would do really, really good. I really like the chorus, I like his rapping, and it's just a great song all around, especially with the clapping part, I love that. No, you can't be in my video. Security? Security is another song, I actually hated it at first, because it reminded me of Yeezus. He's like a bottom two Kanye project for me, but listen to it over and over again, especially with the explicit version where he's cursing I, ooh, with that, the drums at the end with the bass is just great. If he released this, I think it would be an absolute banger. It, it could honestly go on Yeezus. I feel like the life of Pablo and it's just a great song all around. Uh, not a great, but it's definitely a song that has potential and I can see the potential in it. And then we have We Did It Kid, which has a Baby Keem feature on it. Ye likes Baby Keem now because he found out he's cousins with Kendrick Lamar. Nah, I'm playing. But that Migos verse on that is just something else. You know, I whenever a rapper talks about shit or pooping their pants or whatever, I think you should be banned, banned from the studio for at least 24 hours. So, I mean, the rest of the verse was great. It actually had some really good chemistry between the Migos, Keem, and Kanye. But that bar about shit has to be... That, that should be banned from the rapping textbook, the rapping rule book. It, it just has to go. It, it can't stay. Then we have what seems like everyone's favorite song. We have Pablo, which actually seems pretty complete. And I would really hope he releases this song one day. You got Kanye West, you got Travis Scott, and you got Future. And it's just an absolute banger. And also the semi beat switch is something like futuristic that we see from Kanye in this song, which I don't think gets enough praise because that beat is kind of futuristic, low key, high key. It's super dope and super futuristic, and I'm cool with Travis being on the song. Future did his thing. I think it was kind of a filler verse, but the potential for that song, too, is definitely there and is the top three or at least top five song on the album that I enjoy. Then we have a song with everyone's favorite white boy right now. We have Louis Bags with Jack Harlow, and honestly, the Joe Biden and Kamala Harris sample did crack me up. I thought it was clever by Ye, but he's not really saying a lot here. You can tell it's a filler verse, and he's kind of just rambling over and over again i like the idea in him trying to pay homage to his friend virgil 
But I want to see what the actual verse is like. Because right now, you can appreciate where he's going with it. But, like, the actual verse is kind of ass. I kind of like it. It's kind of catchy. It's kind of yay. Like, But also, Jack Harlow's feature is pretty good on it, actually. But we need a finished song. That's the issue with a lot of these songs. We don't have finished versions. So I'm going off of and judging the potential and what we have. Which could honestly go anywhere he can make these songs completely different the most underrated song on the album which people are actually starting to like now i think it's because future just dropped his new album we have the song happy and i just the beat in that is insane it's a trap just straight up banger futures verse is good i love to see like the full future verse you could tell it's a little bit of filler same with yay but the way he was rapping with the beat it was just crazy that song if released i wish he dropped it on future's new album that song goes absolutely crazy next song sci-fi which listen that beat is so cool but i cannot forgive yay for the morgan freeman bar that's one of those things where it's like yay like this bar like look at me somebody has to be in the studio and tell them this this bar is absolute garbage this bar is not good. This bar is not okay. We cannot include this. But Kanye does what Kanye wants. So he was able to let it slide and put it on his album. Well, Mike Dean probably bugged on him for it. But overall, I I like the idea of the song. I mean, it's a little much with the Kim K, but like the beat and like oxygen or Wi-Fi, like the whole thing with his family and the internet. I get it. I see where he's going with it. I just wish there was more than the ass Morgan Freeman bar that we got. Then we have the song Selfish, you know, I lost my shirt. And that president bar with that singing is some of like the cringiest. It's funny, but like that that shit is so terrible. Yeah, I don't know how you let that one slide too, especially with the shirt bar before that. Like, yeah, we gotta get we gotta try a little bit with the you can't just say whatever and expect us to understand and and like it. And then we have the outro, Lord Lift Me Up. I mean, it's cool. I mean, it's definitely it's not a song I've gone back to really. But it's definitely a cool little outro. I wish there was more to it. But, like, yeah, he's not rapping on it. Why are you including outros or music that doesn't have you on it on your new album? Bro, I don't understand why people... Well, I get why they're giving them ratings. But I'm not going to give it a personal rating because it wasn't really ever finished. And I don't think it ever will be. Hopefully one day. But definitely not within the next couple months. Yeah, he's been living low key recently, so I think he's just focusing on himself. And maybe he'll come back to this or maybe this will just be some relic that we look back at at 10 years like, yo, this was a weird time in Kanye West's career. Maybe he just uses this album to get the feelings out between you know who thou who shall not be named and Kim K. If you still listen to Donna to Maxi Curious, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, share and subscribe. Peace.